Hey YouTube, okay, hey, um, I know it's been a while since I uh, posted a video. i just been real busy, sorry about that. But anyways, uh, here's today's project. Today, we're going to be installing these. And if you're not sure what these are for, I'll take a walk over here and I will show you the skag mower, the 48 inch um, belt drive, walk behind. If you look down low here, um, one of the brake bands right here came right apart. I, I first thought that maybe because um, they're original that these had never, you know, maybe they just wore out and um, you know, wore right through but did not. If you see, if you look, you can see there is, there's plenty of meat on there. Um, it broke on the metal part of the band. But anyways, so me and my assistant here are going to replace both bands on the uh, on the skag. And uh, what I'll do, I'll show you how I adjust it, how I, how I think it should go. And um, let me get some tools and we'll pull it apart if he doesn't walk off with my parts. All right, for those uh, of you that are watching that do not know how the um, brakes or even uh, drive disengagement, I guess you can say, on this uh, walk behind works, um, number one, um, the safety, I taped it up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but... Um, I'm not a fan of too many safeties, maybe a couple, but just it's getting ridiculous. So I taped it up. Don't rec recommend that. But the way it works, when you pull this lever, what happens? Um, two things. First, this pulley here, it releases tension on the drive belt. Okay? And as soon as it re releases tension, it also moves this lever down over over here. Sorry, but right here, uh, that lever there pulls that lever up, and that pulls the brake band up tight uh, to that drum. If you can see that or not on the on the drive wheel. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna block it up real quick and get that wheel off the ground. I think I could probably do it one-handed here. See what happens. I put pressure on this. The wheel's off the ground. I can get this with my foot. Okay, perfect. Good. So the wheel's off the ground. I'm going to pull this E-clip off the um, the axle, pull the wheel off, and there's a screw in here. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's metric like everything else, but we'll pull that off, and um, I'll show you, um, like I say, how I change the brake band. All right, like I said, the E-clip is the uh, first to come off. Just a screwdriver pops it off. E clip, flat washer, and the tire slides off. Actually, what I need to do is pull this lever and release the uh, pressure on that band so we could uh, slide that belt off the pulley and then the whole wheel assembly comes off. So let's see what happens. Release the pressure, the tension, the belt slides off. It. All right, so this is the uh, back side of the wheel assembly. Um, of course, the pulley for the drive belt, and here is your brake drum right here. Um, let me show you guys real quick here. Let me flip this over. And the way it works is here's the new brake band. The brake band works like this. So when you pull a lever. It put uh, resistance around that brake drum. So well, that's it. But like I said, let's um, pull off this screw because you can see here, here's the old brake band. I know it's kind of crapped up, but uh, from moving it around it to get in here, um, that's what happened. But like I said, I'm gonna pull this off because this is the other side right here of this. And then we're gonna probably pull that other um, bracket off too. And then it um, should be pretty easy, so. Let me uh, get going. Actually, we're gonna change plans here a little bit. Um, I'm looking right here. This piece here, this whole shaft, uh, is loose. It's missing the uh, E-clip here. Um, it's not a big deal because it's not gonna go anywhere because of the wheel hub it being on. But anyways, I think we just slide this off. Yep. And that'll get my access and get rid of this belt for a second. Actually, there's my access right there. And looking at this. I wonder if this would reset, um, it's like a press-on type of a retaining clip. 
Um, anyways, let me uh, try to re remove that. We'll get a wrench on this and then uh, see if we can get it back together. All right, here, this is uh, real quick what I've just did. I removed this, um, I guess you call it like a locking washer, off of this shaft. Um, basically, what I did, I, did, I just put it on a vise and I banged it out. Um, I would imagine the best way to do this is to get new new washers when you're going to do brakes. So if I can go back there and do it again, I would. Um, but it's Sunday and the dealer's closed. So I'm going to try putting it back on and see if it stays or not. But um, I knocked that out and I'll show you real quick here what we're going to do. Okay, I knocked it out. So that goes down here. That allows me to pull this whole piece off. Remove the brake line and install the new brake line. And what we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back in the vise and I'm gonna bang these back over the over here with a hammer and uh, see how it goes on. So let's do that and then um, I'll let you know. All right, in my uh, quest to get this done today. I did install this push washer, push locking washer. I'm not sure what you want to call it. Um, but my problem now, when I went to go install this one right here, you know, I, I, I know they're all one use thing and I just didn't have them. Um, it snapped it. You see right there. So this one's junk. Um, I just went out to my dealer and they said uh, out of stock. I did order it, which is not a real big deal. What I'm thinking, once it's together, if you look over here on the other side, this is where it goes right here. That's the one that broke. Right there. I think I can get that on from behind there, I think, uh, from the back side. I think I can push it on and make it work. If not, we'll just pull the wheel off and, and do it that way. It's not a big deal. But, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, reassemble. And I um, adjust it. All right. I guess for temporary, we'll uh, do it like this. We'll slide that back out. And if I remember right, this goes up into here. So this goes like this. This goes through here. And this nut goes in here. All right, and basically this goes up into here. Perfect. So we'll get a wrench on the back of this, tighten it down. Okay, that takes care of that. Okay, there's a little bit of finagling, but I was able to get it. Uh, everything's back together. Uh, remember this one. Um, clip I need to get on Wednesday because it's on order the new brake band is on and this will slide in and adjust um, just right we hope yeah we'll be fine okay let me uh, get the wheel back on and we'll adjust it all right so here's what I did put this pin back in here okay the way I like it um, when I pull the handle here Okay, you know how, um, of course, I just went over, but we disengage the drive pulley, and then a split second later, this other lever here, which gets pulled up by this, engages the brake. Um, I don't like having the lever out too far. I like to have it so, okay, uh, right now, if you look at it, the drive is disengaged and the brake is applied. I don't like it when, you're, when the lever's way out. It's just too uncomfortable. I like it up in here pretty tight. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today. I really can't take it for a test drive because I don't want that piece to fall off. All, All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I have a couple of projects coming up. Um, actually, quite a few in the works. So, we'll get on those shortly.